All right, this will be how to replace your hardwired Kita smoke alarm batteries. So, here we have a hardwired Kita smoke alarm. See, it's hardwired. So, we're going to go ahead and open up the battery door. You're going to use a little screwdriver sometimes in case you can't get it out with your hand or the this little yellow tab is like back in here. Sometimes you could just use a screwdriver to plop them out like this, like prick them like that. Or you could use a seal tab to just do that and pull them all out. And then you gotta push this test button. Hold it down for like 10, 15 seconds. For some of them, this one already did it, so you don't have to worry, but just hold it down for quite some time. So these are your old batteries. And then you are going to get your new batteries and put them in like this like it will, t it will tell you, you just gotta lift this up see this side is positive so you're gonna put it like this and the other side's negative as you can kind of see and then make sure you close the battery door this one in particular you have to close the battery door Push test button. in order for it to turn on some models the battery operator version of this has the same concept except you don't have to close the battery door this is a model can system iba and then there's one that actually is very similar which is this one right here these are very very common smoke alarms still being made today so again it's hardwired it's made by firex but it's still technically kita again take out the battery and then you gotta hold this down Hold it down for a little bit. So, yeah. Like, get your new battery. And then, see this is positive right there. So you're going to put it in like this. And then. And then it will turn on for you. And in this case, actually, um, I actually am using little batteries. I just don't have any good batteries for my smoke alarms at the moment. For my collection smoke alarms, I just have a bunch of dead batteries. Don't ask me why, but yeah. If you were replacing with brand new batteries, then it wouldn't chirp at you like that. So, this one is good to go. Now, this next one's very similar to the other one I showed you, which was the Kita sm Combo Smoke and Carbon Oxide. This one's very, very similar. It's uh, another hardwired model. It's just Canadian. That's really the only difference. So... Again, put the batteries in when it how it tells you. Again, positive like this. And then negative like this. And then close the battery door. Again, this bundle is hardwired, so that means you have to close it. Push test button. That was the other one because we just took the batteries out. So now this one's on. So there you go. Alright, the next alarm is this one right here. This is the Kita model I-12040A. These are still being made today. There are photo electric models of this too. This is a P-12040. Again, photo electric. says photo electric on the side there. And these other two right here are the same concept, just Canadian. Really the only difference. So, yeah. We're just going to focus on this one since it's the one that actually has the battery in it. You got to flip it over. You got to take this one off its base. Open the battery door, take the battery out, and then hold the test button to drain out any power. You'll hear like a dying sound. So, you gotta hold that down for a moment. Then you're gonna take your new battery, and you are going to, like again, you get to look at this. See, it says positive, negative. This says the positive, so it goes in. Oops. This way. Make sure this yellow tab is in there. And there you go. This one is good to go. And again, it won't chirp at you. Again, it's just because I'm using dead batteries. So don't worry about that. It won't chirp at you. At least I hope it won't. If it does, then you got to change out the battery again. If not, then your smoke detector is defective. So again, there's a bunch of models of this. Full electric models. There's Canadian models. All that kind of stuff. There's also the older model, which looks like this. But it has the same kind of concept. And this next one is pretty much the same concept. I don't know why I, I didn't show this to the 
previously, but it's the same, also the same kind of concept. It has that battery door in the back. So, take out the battery. Again, drain any power. So, it's, it's the same deal. Place the battery in, close it, and you're good to go. This is a heat alarm model, but it's really no different by changing the battery. If you have one of these, I've seen these, um, I've seen these on the field before, so, yeah. There you go. Next one we got, also very similar, it also has the same kind of deal, this one just has a light on it, and if this one has, if you see one that has a light, then you gotta flip over to the back, notice the battery door is bigger. This one actually takes two batteries, so, it's the same, but it's just not. You just gotta take out both batteries this time, one activates the light, one activates the piezo. Again, hold this down, and then place your batteries back in again. Look at this. Positive goes on the left, negative on the right. And then do the same thing with the other battery. If I could get this in. Positive. And make sure these um tamper tabs go in, these things, these little red things you can see here. Gotta make sure those go down. So you can slide the battery in like this. So that way we guaranteed to go down. Again, I'm using dead batteries so you can hear it chirping. Close it up, twist it back on the ceiling, and you're good to go. So, there. And there's also an older model of this, too. Here it is. It will look like this. It's just the older model. No different. Alright, this next one I'm going to be showing you is the Kita model Alan 2060. Chirping, because low battery. So, yeah. This one is very easy, you don't have to take this one out of the ceiling, but it can be a little. I don't know if it'll be that difficult, but you guys still see for yourself. You can just put the battery, but you have to lift this thing up. Yeah, you gotta open you have to open this up, and then you gotta take out the battery like that. Then you take your battery, your new battery, and then slide it in a direction. See negative is on this side, so it's gonna go on the back. Put that in there, close it up. And you can actually use a tamper resistant switch so that way the battery door won't open. So you can like use a little screwdriver, flip this over, and now as you can see, it is now locked up. And the only way you can open it up is by flipping this back. And there you go. And the other one is actually a very similar one, it's just um combo. Smoke and CO, just same kind of concept. Take out the battery like this, get your new one. Again, drain any power. And then negative, no, positive is on this side, so that means it's going to go in the front. Close it up. Push test button. It's going to tell you to push test button, which I won't do right now. And again, you can lock it up. It's got the same kind of switch feature. So again, it won't open. So yeah. Alright, so this next one I'm going to be showing you are, um, these two, and actually this one too, but I'll get to that one in a moment. I'm actually going to show this one since this is the one that's on, I just powered this on for just a demonstration. So, yeah, again, it's, um, so this one's a carbon oxide only, but these three actually have the battery door on the back, so again, you have to t twist this off the base, take the battery door out, take out the battery, I mean, yeah, open the battery door, take out the battery, Make sure it's off, and it's already off. You can tell because the LCD screen is off. And then, and then again, get your new battery, and then slide it. Again, make sure the tamper switch goes down. This red thing. Make sure it goes down. Slide it in. Close the battery door, and you are good to go. You gotta wait a second in order for it to say zero, and then you can test this up. And then. This one right here is the same kind of concept, just, again, battery door on the back. The battery operated models of this, and this, again, this one has the same deal, battery door on the back. The battery operated models actually take three double A's, which I'll be showing in a separate video. That will be, um, changing your batteries on battery operated kit of smoke alarms, so that way you know what you're, um, changing the batteries on. Because they all have, like, the same kind of concept. So, yeah. So that was how to change your battery. In your Kita hardware, smoke, CO, heats, anything.
etc. Alarms. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.